Very quickly, you guys know what Temu is. Some, uh, by the way, mm -hmm. they people are calling it Timu for a while. Yep. Then the people were getting mad, and now it's called Temu again. Like, we always called it Temu. Yeah, we always we? called yeah. it Temu, and then they were like, no, it's Timu, and now it's Temu again, whatever. So there's major backlash right now. I believe there's two class action lawsuits being formed against it. Why? The allegations are this app, which, by the way, in Chinese is called Pinduoduo. Yeah. The American version of this app has access to pretty much everything on your phone. This Can is we what's play the segment? Yeah, let's just play it. We're going to play the segment. Now, this is, you got this from like some American TV Today's show, show yeah. that uh, us sort of like stay at home moms watch in the morning. Correct. Right? Okay. All right. Let's take a look. It doesn't mean it's not credible. No, they it's good. Guy, they have the guy on. Yeah, I'm yeah. glad it's on that kind of thing. Popular discount shopping app Temu making its second Super Bowl commercial appearance. Ooh, ooh, Temu. But now all eyes are on Temu for a different reason. Two class action lawsuits allege the app has an arsenal of tools to gain access to what they call literally everything on your phone, including your contacts, camera, microphone, and more. Attorney Steve Berman represents the plaintiffs in one of the lawsuits. You're alleging that Temu is collecting text messages and photos. What proof do you have? Various experts who have studied the Temu application, and there's a wide consensus that it is the most dangerous app in America, period. In a statement to NBC News, Temu denies the allegations, writing in part, we collect information with a clear and singular purpose to provide and continually enhance our products and services for our users. I'd like to ask you like that, that, that nice little thing that they say there. That's so convenient. It's such it's a convenient like, way to mm, say things. We want to enhance our products and services, but what? Why do you need to know someone's location and have access to their microphone and their camera and stuff in order to send them a cheap rubbish it's from such China. boilerplate like lawyer speak isn't it yeah we yeah. want to enhance your experience you'll have the most enhanced experience and they're like i just ordered ten dollar shoes yes and i don't need you don't need yeah. to have that information no you didn't need to listen to my phone call <laughs> no exactly <laughs> you, know you don't I mean? have need to have access to my yeah. my picture library yes anyway let's see what can Adding, continue with this. we only collect and use data necessary for specific justified scenarios justify yeah. who what? who justifies this. I want to know what is a specific justified scenario. It's like, oh, he's a Chinese dissident. Let's yeah. make sure that the Chinese government knows this where is, he lives. This is hypothetical. Yes, of course. Well, that would be a justified scenario for Timu or Temu. Yeah. If the parent company had anything to do with yeah, it. Yeah, it's justified yeah. that the Communist Party member that's inside the company said, you know, find out where this person lives. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty nuts to think that in their official reply to this allegation is that we collect, don't we collect data and use data necessary for specific justified scenarios. How how like holier than now is that attitude yeah. to say to a user? Like yeah. we, we we know what's better. Oh yeah, you. when we think it's justified, yes. we'll use your personal data. That, that's up to us, not yeah. you, you pleb. You know. It's, kind of scary it's the customer is always wrong yeah let's let's see what happens <laughs> next very ccp attitude it really by the is way. yeah <laughs> the e-commerce platform has a massive reach temu was the world's most popular marketplace app in 2023 with 338 million downloads in june we asked patrick jackson with the internet security company disconnect to analyze the temu app he found it was collecting more personal data than it told users, including IP addresses, which can be used to determine a shopper's location, sexual orientation, and political affiliation. At that time, Temu said, we are committed to the privacy and security of our users. The information is solely for enhancing our service, and we do not sell it for money. Really After we shared our findings, mm -hmm. Apple told Temu to fix the app. The company said it complied. But after reanalyzing the app today, Jackson says Temu has turned on certificate pinning, which makes it harder for researchers to see what kind of data the app is collecting. And I just want to point out here the fact that Apple allowed the app, because Apple's supposed to have very stringent rules. Yeah, and they've been pretty good. But they mm. allowed the app yeah. on their th yeah. platform to collect all this data. Yeah. And only when some, you know, like stay at home mom show contacted Apple to say, hey, you know, we analyze this, it's bad. Then Apple's like, hey, Timu, Temu, whatever you want to call yourself. This is bad. You should change this. What's going on? Why were they allowed to do this in the first place? Has Apple become that lame? Yeah. 
I mean, I guess. That, By the way, that's it. it is as funny as it is to call this a stay-at-home mom show. Uh, Vicky Nguyen, the, who does this segment, she does great stuff. Sure, I love her work. Yeah. Um, but this, I think, this is the exact platform that they should be showing this kind of expose yes. on because the average person that's who's, going to go out there and stay-at-home mom, <laughs> or you know, or someone with less money, yeah, right, like maybe a younger person that I think anyone would focus. use it. Yeah, but you don't yeah. need to be any certain de- that's demographic. Very true. If you're told that hey, you can get a freaking phone or a drone Whatever. or something for ten dollars yeah. and five dollars you'll be like oh i can it's get tempting. wireless earphones for the three do- three bucks yeah why not especially you know? the average person probably doesn't know the connection to china mm-hmm. you know you, what I mean? and at the end of the day there's that old saying you know if it's too good to be true it generally is and it's definitely the case here you will pay in other ways they've updated their privacy nutrition label acknowledging they now collect precise locations. Jackson yeah. says that's detailed enough to tell within 15 feet of where you are. What? He collects yeah. <laughs> the most personal data of any app on the marketplace and people don't know that they're at risk. That's insane. Yeah. Why I, does it need that? Yeah. You know, the precise location yeah. of where you are. Why does because it's got nothing to do with delivering something to you. Yes. So why does this stupid shopping app, app need to know exactly where you are all so the time? So we're in a situation where this the alley, this is alleged, mm-hmm. but it's alleged that they have access to f- camera, microphone. No, they found it's not alleged. They, they, they no, do. I know. I'm saying it's in the in this this oh, class action lawsuits, sure. right? So we'll find out what actually happens. We'll keep you guys updated. Yeah, we've had our eye on this app for a while now. Oh. And it's always been. I mean, I released that video right yeah. when Timu became a thing. <laughs> Temu. Why am I calling it Timu now? I called it Temu. I always called it Temu, Temu. in the beginning. Whatever. But everyone is like, whatever. Stupid app. Don't use it. Don't buy that junk anyway. You don't need that crap in your life. No. Seriously. Absolutely. And that's that's from us. It, mm-hmm. Don't use this kind of stuff. Yeah. Don't use TikTok. Don't yeah. use Temu. Don't use these apps that are coming from these companies in China that make it look better than it actually is. Like, yes. it's super cheap. You don't have to pay shipping and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. Don't put yourself at risk. You're actually really jeopardizing, you know, everything in your own country. You're yeah. undercutting, you know, people's jobs yeah. in your own country. Yeah. It's not a good thing to do. No, don't do it. Yeah, don't want to guilt you or anything, but, uh-uh. you know, it's like, if you can, don't use it. We are um, donning the... Honorary tinfoil hats. I just look like a conquistador <laughs> or something. Do, this actually is fascinating and dumb. Chinese or slash Asian intestines are longer than Western ones. Their main plan was to wipe out the Chinese race. Oh, how else could it be explained? Oh, I guess aliens came down. Yeah. I'm pretty sure, yeah, aliens came down and did like bronze work. A monumental, supremely devious plot to annihilate the Chinese and other people of color. See, these conspiracy theories are actually crafted by the Chinese, <laughs> the Chinese government, government right? to distract away from their own problems. I freaking knew it. What is the best material for a radio proof hat? I think we're wearing it. It's gonna be difficult. Probably lead. <clears throat> Don't recommend lead hats to anyone. <laughs>